Tokyo Electric Power Company will shut down a reactor in Niigata Prefecture, central Japan, on Wednesday for a regular inspection. This will leave only four of Japan's 54 reactors online. The company... TEPCO will switch off the number 5 reactor at the Kashiwazaki Kariwa nuclear power plant. The plant's number 6 reactor will be the only one providing power to the Tokyo metropolitan area. The company will boost the capacity of its thermal power plants and ask companies and households to save electricity. TEPCO is working to restart some of its reactors. It has submitted the results of stress tests on two reactors at the Kashiwazaki Kariwa plant. But the local government has refused to allow the reactors back online. It says there has not been an adequate investigation of the Fukushima Daiichi accident. The Japanese government will launch a new agency to oversee the reconstruction efforts in the areas devastated by the March 11th disaster. Keep working on it, Japan. The new government arm should provide a one-stop service to disaster-hit municipalities. The agency must play an authoritative role in the rebuilding efforts and urge the ministers to fully support it. The agency will be set up on February 10th with its headquarters in Tokyo. It will have a total of 250 staff. There will be bureaus in Iwate, Miyagi and Fukushima prefectures and six municipal branches in those areas. Neighboring prefectures, Aomori and Ibaraki will each have a liaison office. The government task force agreed on the outline of a bill to provide special assistance to Fukushima prefecture, the site of the nuclear accident at the Daiichi power plant. The bill will create new industries in the prefecture, such as a research and development hub for advanced medical treatments. Japan's government planning to double the consumption tax rate to 10% by the year 2015, and this is to finance rising social security costs. Government leaders now say a bigger tax hike is necessary to overhaul the pension system. Deputy Prime Minister Katsuya Okada told a TV program Sunday that the costs of restructuring the pension system will not be covered by the planned tax increase. Okada said an additional tax hike will be necessary. On Monday, Chief Cabinet Secretary Osamu Fujimura echoed Okada's remarks. Japan's population is aging at the fastest pace of any country in the world. In such a graying society, the current pension funds will inevitably fall short in the coming decades. Fujimoto suggested that the consumption tax would have to be raised beyond 10 percent for drastic reforms such as launching a new program for pensions that offer a minimum guarantee. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Hey YouTube, um, according to the Intel Hub, the state I'm in is saturated with radiation we're getting a heavy dose of radiation um, it's speculative as to where it came from what you got here is a beautiful case of plausible deniability we have uh, supposedly the biggest uh, radiation impact since 05 from the Sun I'd be curious to see when they reported on that one in 05 if the tweets and mainstream talked about the radiation like they are in this one but what comes to my mind here is certainly the weather that we're having. It's 40 degrees here in Upper Michigan. Um, as well as the report caught my attention on the Intel Hub about uh, the radiation in Michigan. Um, isn't it coincidental that Photo Helix and I are doing a series on uh, a what ifs if a radioactive type setting took place? And within two weeks of us starting that, it's mainstream that we got radiation about. 
Don't matter how it got here, it'll kill you just the same. God bless you all, truly. Um, truly. Take care. Notice how weird it starts to get when you just stop breathing?